Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan Team. FAI Cup Final, Dundalk 2, Cork City 1. I'm here with the Cork City fans. Steve, what are your thoughts of the game? Well, my thoughts before the game were that the problems are obvious. Six months, six months before the end of last season, we lost Sean Maguire and we didn't replace the striker. In the final last year, we started Shepard up front and it was clear that we had no striker if Shepard was playing up front at his own. One whole year later and he's still playing up front by himself. So Caulfield's had 18 months to solve the problem and actually buy a striker and he hasn't gone out and done it. It's clear he doesn't trust Cummins. All year he hasn't trusted Cummins and no, when it actually matters he didn't play him. So it's obvious he doesn't trust his players. Like what does Ronan Collin think on the bench when an under-19 player, no, not against Kim Murphy now, but when an uh, under-19 player like Kim Murphy comes on, what's Ronan Collin saying in his head? Like why did he, why did Caulfield sign me just to play this fellow with nothing? Do you know what I mean? And the thing about the strikers, how can you go a full game without how can you go a full game without having one shot on target apart from the penalty apart from sadly or having to deflect a shot at the end and expect to win a game in a cup final you know what I mean and he's had 18 months to actually find a striker and he hasn't managed to do it and that's where the problem lies like defensively we aren't that bad the, the first goal fair enough corner the second goal was clinical by Dundalk and it just goes to show that they they brought in fellas in midway through and they brought in McElhenney and then he scores that goal today and Caulfield has had 18 months to get that quality up top and he hasn't managed to do it. Defensively we're grand. Midfield were okay. The problem is that Dundalk have more ball carriers. McGrath, who's on the bench, McElhenney, Duffy and Benson, they're all ball carriers. They can bring the ball and they bring it 20 yards. City have no ball carriers. Sadly, there is the only player who can actually grab the ball and drive it up forward 20 yards. McCormick, Morrissey, Buckley, McLemy, they all want to defeat and they're just passing around 20 yards. They make nothing happen, they take no risks. That might be because Caulfield's mentality, he doesn't allow you to take risks. But that's where City are falling down. They have lack of ball carriers and they have no quality in the final third. And we have 18 months. This time last year, Shepard played a front in his own because they're a short striker. And a year later, it's the exact same situation. So, so, so what's the situation now going forward for Cork? Does he have going to stay? Forward, Does he have to go? I, if I were, I, Caulfield, he, I think he, he should stay and he will stay. But there is dead wood in the camp that needs to go. The Cummins. <sighs> Yeah, he, he had an alright season, but he doesn't bring anything. He doesn't bring that spark, you know what I mean? That extra. Your best player has to be your striker. Do you know what I mean? Gone. McNamee, Deadwood. Gary Buckley had, for the last three or four years, has been 9 out of 10, 2 games. 6 out of 10, 2 games. 4 out of 10, 2 games. He's not bringing anything. McCormack, nothing. I know a lot of people like Morrissey, but he hasn't performed to the heights either. Um, Griffin, no. Right back is the shambles. Whoever's played there, and McNulty is a horror show. So there is five or six fellas that need to be completely thrown out. And I don't mind bringing up the young fellas. That's grand, but just leave them take risks. Do you know what I mean? And as long as you can see they're improving, but there's just a lot of dead wood. It was the same tr about three years ago when we lost when Richie Towles scored. We had a lot of dead wood, like like Danny Morrissey. I know now Marky was old. There was like you know Ian Turner. There was a lot of fellas just sitting around the camp and they weren't contributing. And it's the same kind of, no, the same kind of feel to the end of it. Yeah, and I, I kind of find it hard to disagree with yeah. you. Everything you said has pretty much been spot on. Yeah. Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree with Steve? Do you disagree? Let us know what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching.